Hey, Draft Drive, Mix here, and I'm with Rosemary and Milt. Rosemary, how are you today? I am perfect. Thank you so much, and yourself? Thank you. I am doing fabulous here on the golf course at Amelia. Milt, how are you? Doing good, Migs. Good to meet you. This car is has some history to it. It says New York to Seattle. You don't have to move out of the way. Okay. I will show the pictures as we're going through the interview. Uh, tell me, tell me the story behind this. Well, I'll you give you a story on this car. Okay. In 1909, the auto clubs in the United States challenged the car manufacturers to an endurance run from New York to Seattle to, to show the need for better roads and also to show that cars were dependable enough to do the, road, the routes. So Henry Ford built two cars, a number one and a number two. And number two car ended up winning the race. So how, how long was that, that race that, that you're referring race, to? That race lasted 21 days. Wow. They went from New York up through Detroit, Chicago, down to St. Louis. But from St. Louis on, it was really roadless almost. They were going through the pastures and uh, the valleys and the rivers across railroad trestles. It was quite an endurance run back then. So I guess I'm going to ask you some unprepared questions. How, how do you fuel up a vehicle like that where there, I mean, you don't have gas stations along the way in such a long trip? They, were, they, they had gas came in cans, like a three-gallon can, one-gallon cans. Actually, drugstores sold gasoline back then. They have to go to the drugstore in a local town and find some gas cans. No kidding. You have actually taken this on the same trip, correct? Correct. In 2009, 100 years later, we recreated the same race, and we drove from New York to Seattle again in 21 days. Tell me, Rosemary, how was that trip? Well, I wasn't on that one, but I'll be on part of the one for this year. Okay. But, uh, yeah, but well, I heard all about it. <laughs> so you've, but you've ridden on in this vehicle before, right? Yes. Okay. And how, how is it? Um, it's beautiful, scenic. Yeah. Uh, maybe a little crazy on the roads because we don't go real fast. Right. And sometimes people appreciate that and sometimes they don't. Oh, yeah, they share that the road. Sense. And then I'm watching for debris on the road and uh, bugs in my face. But right. it's fun. It's Be all fun. Because we're missing a windshield, right? We are. Okay. All right. <laughs> so uh, what is the top speed? It'll do about 40 mile an hour. Okay. All right. The reason why I ask that question is not, you know, how fast can we go, but when you're taking a long trip like that, something to consider that, you know, you, <laughs> you're on the highway and you're trying to get from point A to point B. Something like this, obviously, is going to take a lot longer. So like you were saying, 21-day trip, New York, Seattle. Correct. Yeah. yeah, and also, we, tr we stay off the main highways. We try to take more of the rural roads. Okay. We, we avoid the interstates and the busy roads. Right. So it does take, we end up zigzagging, so we end up going a few more miles than we probably need to go. Right. But, uh, yeah, we, we figure about 30 miles an hour average. To gain, to gain our time to go 100 miles would be a three-hour drive. So. Well, with such a significant car like this, you must be attending a lot of different events to get the word out, let other people see the car. Um, what event are you going to be going to next? Well, this, the next event will be the Concourse de Elegance in Tampa, the Gasparilla Concourse. Okay. And we're kind of promoting this. So this trip was here, was to promote the Concourse in Tampa. Rosemary, are we going to see you there as well? Yes, we're going to take our other 1909 to that one. Okay. So, um, yeah, well, it'll great. be quite different than this one. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Favorite car, favorite drive, favorite song? I'm going to ask you first. Oh, I have to answer all of these. Well, I think our 1912 uh, salesman's truck, because that has been on other continents with us for some trips. So there's a lot of memories there. Uh, favorite roads? I think some of the ones in Italy that we were on at some point. Okay. Songs. I do like the really old song called Over and Under in a Model T because that's all they did was they get the car going, they get under the car to fix it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you don't know that tune. <laughs> How about yourself? Uh, my favorite car is a 1906 Ford Model N because okay. it's a very early in production. It almost looks like a horse's carriage. Um, my favorite roads, I enjoy driving along the ocean, ocean front roads, are, it's just nice to see that. And songs, I'm going to go back to, probably to the 60s, the Beach Boys songs, like 409 and all the beach songs that they had, it was good. So. Well, that's great, that's very interesting, I'm sure the viewers would like to hear more about that. Uh, have you ever taken any of these cars to a drive-in movie? I have not, no. No, that would be something to do. Maybe that's what you should have at the Gasparilla. Just have like a big screen, have everybody line up, watch a couple movies or something. Well, in the day, it's going to be tough. Yeah. Yes, it would be to see the movie. But it'd be fun to line up and sit in the car, drink a malted milk, and have a good time. Awesome. Well, very pleasure to meet you.
Thank you. Good to meet you too, Mitch. Absolutely. Rosemary, pleasure. pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you guys on Drive Drive. Bye.